Oh yeah. You guys want to see what this is all about? You better tune into my next video. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> Get it. It's a crisp Thursday morning. We got the Chevy pickup. And we got my boy Rob who needs some help. So about a month, month and a half ago, my boy Rob, he's in the 30 year club. He came by and said, hey, can you help me fix my system? Doesn't sound right. I, I bought it and it's got tweeters and it's got mids and highs and it's got a speaker in a bucket. Well, you know I can't really do much with the speaker in the bucket, but I got him on the road. I got it to where it wouldn't pop fuses or any of that stuff. But what we really need to do is make it proper. So I said, bring that shit over, man. We're gonna fix it up. You know how we do it. Got a little birdie underneath the hood. What up, Mr. Newman? What's up, Steve? What's yeah. Up? My man. I'm We're going to fix this shit up, man. I love you, brother. Now, Rob says that it came this way, and I believe him. Except I did put this bad boy in here. Right here. <laughs> yeah, spotlight, baby. You know, I got I to gotta have that. To, oh, so shit. I can, so I can see All right, Rob. I've known you fucking 30 years, dude. More than that, maybe. Yeah, probably more than that. And I cannot let you ride around like this. Well, you actually put your back seat back in. It didn't look like that when you came in the last time. No, no. Is all the goodies still underneath the seat? All everything's the way it was the last time you, <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> well, we're going to fix up the old work truck, man. All right, man. Sick. I appreciate it. All right. Let's take a tour of what he's got already. First, I got to pull that seat out and get started. I don't even really know where to start, but you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, Rob. Dropping you off at your house. Thank you, man. Still got your G-Ride at the shop. It's not going to be the same when you get it back, man. That's awesome. I can't it wait. It should sound a lot better. Good. I mean, it ain't going to be a show truck when you get it back. It's going to be the same truck. But the system is going to be a lot nicer. It's going to be It's going to be good, man, no <laughs> yeah. matter what you do. Good shit, man. All right. All right, you guys. Welcome to my nightmare. I have no idea what I got myself into with this thing. So my buddy Rob came by about, I don't know, a month or two ago and he was popping fuses and every time he turned his beat on, his amp would shut down and all sorts of fun things like that. So he brought it over for me to look at. I figured out the problem real quick. As soon as I looked in the back, his wiring was all messed up. So I got him back on the road, got him a proper fuse holder, got his wires straightened out just enough where it wouldn't shut down anymore on him. But I said, man, bring this thing by. As soon as I'm done with what I'm working on over here, some other stuff I was doing, I'll go ahead and take a look and see if we can't make this thing better. So here it is. And like I said, I have no idea what I just got myself into. This is not gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, we got the carbon fiber door panels. We got the six by nine in the door, custom fiberglass or something. I don't know what that's made of. We're gonna pull that apart and find out We got wires in the fuse holder. I'm instructed to not pull a certain fuse out or else this thing won't shut off. <laughs> Alrighty. We got a Kenwood deck, nothing wrong with that. Good to go. We got some random wires. We got a spotlight. Now before I crack the back open and show you what's back there, Something else intrigued me. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to show you guys. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got the bucket old base. We're silicone in. That's a pretty nice silicone job, too. Is it, like, really in there? Yeah, it's in there. That thing's in there. It's wired and everything. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. What the hell? I'm oh, sorry, Rob. <laughs> Fuck, dude, my bad. Push it, oh, hey, yeah. put the lid back on so we can seal this woofer back up. There you go. All right, good we're to good go, to go dude. now. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> thing's badass. I'm gonna get that thing slapping. What does that say? Fucking the pile blue wave, dude. All right, man, so what we gotta do is we're gonna have to, we're gonna reach back here and pull these back seats out and get to the amps. When he first pulled up before, he didn't have his back seat in. It was just amps 
and they uh, got a box with two Pioneer 12s in it. All right, let's go ahead and tilt the seat forward. Stop, baby. Uh, <laughs> hold on one minute. <laughs> Here we go. This is how I used to change the channel on my TV back in the 80s. Uh, oh shoot, it's on this side. And we got two passenger seats. Perfect. <laughs> All right, bam. <laughs> what kind of bucket is that? I can use this for the install. Look, all right, now you guys can see what's going on. Check yep. this shit out. Look at that. All right, well, let's see what this thing sounds like. <laughs> He's not even Russian, and he has a Russian radar detector. <laughs> the radar detector just spoke in Russian. <laughs> this thing gonna play? As you can see, we got some, uh, what are these? <laughs> <laughs> These are your mids and highs right here. Well, I hear I hear another speaker up here somewhere. There's a, there's a speaker in here. What's that double sided tape on there? Okay, there's like a four by six or something over there. We got a four by six over here. Is there anything over there, Brandito? You hear it? No. Do you hear anything? No. No. Okay. Well, we got a. Uh, Oh, well, here it is. Yeah, four by six. Getting it. So we got six by nines in the doors. They're not, damn, I'm gonna get asbestos poisoning. We got six by nines in the door. You're blinding me. Oh, sorry. We got six by nines in the door. Pioneer 12. We got some piezo tweeters. Oh, titanium bullet tweeters. We got a four by six in the dash. Let's see what's powering all this shit. We got a gravity amp on the base. I'm firing on the highs. Where's the cap at? Is the cap still back there? There it is. All right, you guys, let's pop the hood and see what's underneath here. This is how we pop the hood. Just like that. Is there a thing in here? Hold the handle. I think you might still need to pull the handle. Maybe. <laughs> All right, I don't remember this being here last time. This is some like household 
wiring. For like behind your walls and Whatever stuff. Whatever the rest of this stuff is, we're gonna clean that up. Cause that is just terrible. I can hear them tweeters tweeting hard in there. So this is what I'm up against right here, you guys. This is exactly the way it was when it pulled up. There was no seat. We got stuff kind of everywhere. first pulled up that day this is exactly what was back there he said man I keep popping fuses do you have a 40 amp fuse do you have an extra 40 amp fuse and uh, yeah this was all hooked up this was all kind of rigged up to it this thing right here was on there so we had a fuse and then a fuse and then this, this was running to the amp or something I don't remember but I cut that off ran it direct shit never shut off again as bad as it is it never shut off again on him I honestly don't even know where to start with this thing. I guess just diving right on in is the only thing I can do. Start pulling it apart and seeing if we could get it back together somehow. I honestly don't even know where to start with this thing. I guess just diving right on in is the only thing I can do. Start pulling it apart and seeing if we can get it back together somehow. amps out of here not the speakers are out this thing's sitting on some new wipes to keep it from vibrating how's that thing even oh it's not even screwed in this is wedged in there see that that's drama all right well uh Got a little distribution block down here. Just to disconnect that for safety. We got the gravity 1400 watts max. Let's get this Alpine out of here. We got a self tapper. We got a sheetrock screw. We got some RCAs. Oh, there's nothing at the bottom. That makes it easy. Disconnect that real quick. Be right. What is it? It's just too many to unscrew right now. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was cool. Alpine Flex 4. Not bad. And this is what started it all right here. All his blown 40 amp fuses. Oh, well, we found a good one. Shit. That's a good 40. Oh, some blown 30 ampers. We got some fucking round table parmesan in here. We got, this is gonna be butter, I can already tell. 
No, oh, fuck, it's Jim Boy's hot sauce. I thought it was butter because it's kind of yellow on the back. Some more hot sauce. Good. Brandon, I'll give you the change that you find if you back in this motherfucker out for me. Deal? Deal. Hey, check out this ground. Multi-point, the way we like them. This way they don't rotate on you. It's always best to do that so they don't rotate. <laughs> Whoever uses these, rotation or not, man, don't ever use those hands. Look at that, garbage. Whoa, shit. It's grounded right there and this is still hot, so. Here we go. Take out that distro block. Badass. Hey, we got a fry. Dude, we got a fucking fry, dude. <laughs> we got another self tapper here with us holding something down. It was zip tied. Who is that doing? Holding some wires down, keeping this shit all nice. Yeah, you can just rip that cap out of here. It should be ready to go. Oh, it's, it's grounded. It's still on the thing. Just pull that thing off. There you go. <laughs> hey, when he first came, he said, I keep blowing fuses, man. You got a 40 amp fuse I can borrow? So I saw this and I said, uh, you got other problems besides that 40 amp fuse. So I already cut that all out of the system and got him back on the road again. But this is some of the remnants we're left with. Take that shit out of here, man. Parmesan. I don't know what's going on with this thing. So I was trying to figure out what exactly this wire does. What he's powering with it, I think I found out. This is the old LED light. So there's the light right there going up to a relay, screwed to the dash. And then right on over here to a couple of wire nuts that are obviously twisted onto that Romax cable. Sorry, Rob. That's gotta go, man. Get out of here. Mm. 
Hell yeah, badass. No idea what this is for. These are all different sizes. Everything on here is different sizes. We got Phillips. We got a 516. We got a 38. And a few minutes ago I used the quarter. And that one was at a 45. This thing was towed in place. Nice handle. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Lord. What is that? Brandon, what'd you say this handle was made out of? What? What'd you say this handle was made out of? I said it looked like the top to a toolbox. I don't know, man. Oh. There it is. That was easy to pull out. Nasty ass door panel. Here, Brandito. Your turn, Brandon. Hey, don't forget the Mentos. Stuck to the carpet. You can have it if you want it. 
<laughs> the Brandito. Want some aerosol, baby? Candy. Candy? It was like nerds. It's better. It ain't that bad, is it? Oh, that was a roach, dude. You found a roach? It was like a half a joint just now, yeah. dude. But no. <laughs> We got most of the stuff busted out. Door panels are off. The battery's mostly disconnected full of all that crazy wiring that was on it. A couple more still lingering. I'll pull those off later. To be honest, I don't even know where I'm gonna start with this. This is not gonna be fun. But the interior is finally vacuumed out nice and clean. Looks good in here. The dash isn't too bad. We'll clean that up a little. We'll leave the dash mat on there. We won't pull that off. Get some kick panels for the highs. Try to make the doors look normal if we can. Get this thing bumping. Now, of course, the original plan was just to clean up his old stuff and make it proper for him, but that's never the case around here. You can never just clean something up. It's all about ripping it all out and starting from the beginning. And I highly doubt I'm putting that same stuff in here. Now, he's not getting four 18s. He's gonna have a nice little system. But it ain't gonna be the garbage that we just pulled out. We're gonna fix this up, make it a lot better. What did I get myself into? Stay tuned, you'll find out. If you haven't figured it out yet, these four DC Audio Level 112s are for Rob's truck over there. They just showed up. If you're wondering why the build hasn't started, well, I don't really have anything yet. I ordered all kinds of stuff for it, and I'm just sort of waiting for it to get here. I'm trying to get him some door panels. I've already got an excess power battery on the way. I've got an incriminator audio amplifiers coming. I'm gonna build a nice amp rack from there. I just gotta build a little box and start putting it in. So hang tight, we'll get it going. But for now, let's open up these boxes. All right, it's Saturday morning. My CNC is over there buzzing away, so I apologize for that. Maybe I'll just add in some beats and we'll open up this box without saying hardly a word. Let the woofers do the talking.
you're probably wondering what these are for, what this is all about. I mean, it is an unboxing, but it's not just an unboxing. There's a reason for it. Real quick, I apologize about the buzzing and all the sounds coming from over there. My CNC machine is always running. I'm about ready to buy my second one, but that's beside the point. What are those 12s for? Let's find out. Rob's 92 Silverado is about ready to get some serious slap. So for the past week or so, I got all kinds of people asking, where's video three? What you been doing on that truck? What's going on with the truck? Well, this stuff takes time. I had to order those woofers. I have incriminator audio amplifiers that are gonna run those woofers and the mids and eyes. I gotta order some V2 audio mids and eyes. I'm gonna order him up some kick pods. I'm trying to secure some brand new door panels for him because these door panels are just gone. If I can't get any new door panels at a reasonable price, I'm gonna have to hit the wrecking yard up to see if there's anything there. But 92 Silverado sounds common, but around here it's few and far between unless they're in real bad shape. So the plan is new door panels. I'm gonna buy them a new deck. I got an excess power battery going up front. It's on the way. I got some Q-Logic kick pods on the way. So as much as I wanted to surprise my boy Rob with his new 412 inch DC audios, well, I'm on YouTube and everybody has the internet, so there's really no hiding it. Same thing for the amplifiers. I'm Incriminator Audio Amp, but um, Rob, I hope you enjoy this stuff. The build's getting ready to start real soon. So it's been a few weeks and people are asking me, where's video number three? Where's video number four? Why haven't you started this yet? What's going on with the truck? Well, I haven't started yet. I had to gather up equipment, like I said in the last video. I had to order some stuff up for him. I don't have all this stuff just magically falling out of the sky. And uh, I actually ordered him some brand new door panels, brand spanking new, no one's ever touched them. They should be here maybe today. In the meantime, I got an excess power battery over there, a D3400. Got my incriminator audio amps. Of course, I'm gonna use some of this Mechman one aught OFC cable. I really just need to get a head unit, and once I do that, I'm ready to start. I can actually start right now. I can put the battery in and start getting the wiring situated. I think that's what I'll do. Same thing as most installs. I start at the front, work my way to the back, have all the wiring ready to go, hook up the amp rack, hook up the sub box, be done with it. All right, so here's what my schedule is looking like. I'm getting ready to fly out to Albuquerque to go pick up my Escalade. We're gonna do some dyno videos, see what it's really made out of with all those forged parts. And then that thing, the parts that I need to get this build started should be here. But I think just so we can get this thing rolling, I should probably get up underneath the hood and start cutting wires and making some sense out of everything. It's still bad underneath there. I don't know about all this. We'll fix it up though, we'll make it badass. So here's the original wire for the sound system. That's already been disconnected, it's over here. That's gonna get pulled out. We got some other wires. Oh yeah, this is the Romex cable. I cut that off. We've got what appears to be an alternator wire. We'll give him a brand new one of those. The starter wire, I'll just cut it and clean it up because that goes deep down in there. I'm not playing with that. I'll make this all look ideal and clean.
test to test. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now I'm not just gonna use the factory ground. I'm gonna give them a brand new frame ground. I found a spot right down there. I can pop that bolt off.
to go.
just let you ground right here. That right there is a the ground. that a real hold down Rob look what we got in the mail we got a little something from cover lane It looks like this is a door panel to you, and it looks like a door panel to me. But if you watch the other videos, you know what this is replacing. Got the carbon fiber wrap. Got the hole for the by nine. All right, now you know me. I wasn't about to put this system back together with those raggedy ass door panels in there.
All right, so I got that phase of the project over with. Now it's time to move inside the cabin. Let me break down exactly what I've done so far so you know that I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. Brand new excess power battery. We got an SMD grounding distribution block and a fuse holder. Those fuses will go in as soon as this thing's ready to power up. We got a real battery hold down for them. We got some Mechman one aught cable. Ran straight to the alternator. Little heat shield right there in the hot areas. We got the positive ready to go. We got the negative ready to go. We got a frame ground in the front, a frame ground in the back as you saw. And of course we can't forget the new door panels from Coverlay. Look at those bad boys. I ran them an extra little eight gauge. I'll tie that up in there so we can hook up some other little accessories later. And of course, I got a whole bunch of goodies on the table that's about ready to go in that truck. Let's open Just it up. Just had a box show up is. a few minutes ago and I suspect it's his new Alpine. Bought it at Sonic Electronics. No complaints from Sonic Electronics. I ordered it second day and it showed up second day. I'm not even so sure that I paid for second day shipping. So good deal. Well, let's open these boxes up real quick. Let's see what these goodies look like. So anybody that thinks this project is taking too long, hey, I'm ordering stuff with my own money. It's showing up and I can only put it in when it gets here. But check this out. Rob's getting himself a new Alpine. Bluetooth, CD, everything, look at that. Check it out. In here from Incriminator Audio. Of course, I'll show you guys up close and personal on these things a little later when I get ready to do the amp rack. IA 3.4 for the mids and highs. some B2 audio components. Oh, look at those things, beautiful. some Q form kick pods for these things right here, these mids and highs. They'll be here in a couple of days. I'm gonna hook up this deck, get everything going. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do about the box. Stay tuned, it should get more interesting real fast.
think it's going to work out pretty good. Time to install some speakers. All right. All right, these things are just about done. I'm gonna throw some second skin sound in there on the back of them to stiffen them up just a little bit because it is kind of thin plastic. It's a little trick a lot of people do. Works out good. And we'll pop these things in, run the wires.
right, man, these things are in. Now we're just going to put the deck in, get the head unit going. Now I can start working on stuff back here after that's all finished. I say we go grab the Alpine right now and get that thing started. I'm gonna need this plug, but I only need it for one wire. So I'll probably run the positive and negative from this deck all the way to the back where the amps are powered up. But I do need me a trigger wire. So where can I find it in this mess? I say we just cut all this stuff off. A little bit of Tessa tape. thing works let's see if it works come on turn on yes we got juice
All right, deck is done. Mids and highs are in. Wires are ran. Everything's to the back. All spooled up, ready to go. Looks like I just got to build an amp rack and build a speaker box, and this thing will be playing and be done. So we got four DC audio 12s on deck and a couple thousand watts of incriminator audio ready to ride. So stay tuned for the next video while I try to figure out what I'm gonna do next. Box, amp rack, I'm not sure. I gotta do one of them first, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet. Here we go. Slap it on the CNC table. Do some cuts. That's how we stick it down. You know how we do it?
don't even know. We go with the flow while you row in the boat. You keeping it simple minded, cause you know in our only concern is just soaking the dough. When did we ever ask about the gross? When did we ever ask about the net? You would just hand us money from our shows, cause you knew we wasn't questioning the checks. So we do this cool and everybody on the label, on the low, and they don't even know though. So good luck, Jerry, Dizzy, Papa, Swizz, I'm going solo. Nigga, I don't know where you go. I can really see the Let's go try it out and see if this thing fits. Don't mind the gaps, it ain't put together yet. I don't wanna hear nothing. Oh yeah. This thing's starting to resemble a speaker box. Time to get to gluing.
All right, this thing's built. Let's drop some speakers in it, see if it fits. Then we'll call this a wrap for now. 30 on the bottom, 40 cow potato colors. 30 on the bottom, 40 cow potato colors. We them guys, not like them, but the vacuum seller. We need to disappear and disappear. Let's go. Let's go. So this thing's built. My shop's a mess. It's Sunday. I got laundry to do at the house. And I got a little bit of editing to do. So I'm out of here. Next video, I'm gonna wire these things up, test them out, see if the box sounds good. And if it does, we're gonna finish it up and it shouldn't be no thing to get the amp rack all done too. So watch out for that. Stay tuned and all that good stuff. fit it's good well the most important thing is how does it sound let's throw it up on the test bench and see all right just to confirm before I hook this thing up because I haven't yet these are dual twos so I'll be wiring each woofer in series and then pairing each set of two up. So dual two will be brought up to four ohms, dual two will be brought up to four ohms, and then I'm gonna parallel them together, which brings them back down to two ohms again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So basically I'll have a set here wired to two ohms and a set here wired to two ohms. And then I'll run those in parallel, which will bring it down to one ohm, send it over to the amplifier. This is the actual amp that is going in Rob's truck. Incriminator Audio IA 15.1, 1500 watts. So time to turn the time lapse back on, grab me some wire and get busy. Here in a couple minutes, we'll fire this thing up and at least get a little taste of what it sounds like. Then pull them all out, make it look good, put it back in, give him his truck back. Oh yeah, I gotta do the amp rack first. All right, well, let's get to wiring. I got just enough of this Mechman 10 gauge OFC to get the job done. Shouldn't take too long. probably wondering, 
why don't I just put this thing in, finish it, and get it on the road and make the video? Well, I can't do that yet. First thing I gotta do is see if it sounds any good, first of all. Second, I gotta put it in the vehicle and see if it sounds any good. And third, while I'm doing that, I gotta see how it's gonna sound the best. I'm probably gonna have to turn it. I don't know if aiming the woofers forward and the port up against the back wall is gonna be better. I don't know if the woofers aiming up or if the port down bottom aiming towards the side wall is gonna be better. I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these woofers flexing and we're gonna find out what's best. And then from there, I'm gonna build the amp rack. I can't even build the amp rack unless I know which direction the speakers sound best. So these are things that I gotta do, but it should move along pretty quick once this is done. So I got this incriminator audio amp. Got the box ready to go. A couple screws holding each woofer in. It's not really fastened in very good, just enough to hold them down. Let's see. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything is verify the tuning of this box. It's supposed to be tuned to about 34 hertz, but we'll find out right now. You never know. I had to make the port a little bit longer to reach that center brace. Only a few inches, but that usually ends up being just a little tiny bit. Okay, so here's my first peak, 3.1. Now we're gonna look for that dip. So this box is tuned to about 30 hertz it looks like which isn't too bad i thought it was going to be around 34 hertz but like i said i made the port a little bit longer so i made a little bit of a difference no big deal i like 30 hertz let's play it see how it sounds We're gonna feed this amp direct input from this IMSG, just to kind of take a look at it. It's actually making the camera shake. Fucking camera's moving. All right, the camera is way too shaky on that tripod. And that's a good tripod too. It's just a little too close, so we're moving over to the gimbal.
those things are really getting up out of the box. I say we slap it in the truck and see exactly how good it sounds. Hopefully it does. Brando, let's go. There. Let me know how it sounds. I gotta be at the controls. You leaving the door open? Uh, you can shut it. Just be careful for the wires, right? Hopefully this sounds good. Turn it, see if it's any good the other direction. Sorry, I'm unable to do that. Shut up. Stupid watch. You able to flip it? I'm trying. All right, one more thing we want to try before I end this video is we're going to aim them forward and see if it's any better. This way I know where I'm going to put the amps, basically. Let's bump it.
I think forwards might, might be a little bit better. All right, now I don't have a lot of time to test this in here because I got neighbors and this base is loud, but it feels like it's better with the woofers aimed forward and the port closer to the back wall. So I think that's what I'm gonna work with. That thing's got some authority, not bad. Hey, Brian, you think he's gonna like it? Yeah. Time to build an amp rack, time to cover this box with something, and then we'll get it out the door.
All right, so I had to stop everything I'm doing and drive across town, heading over to Arden Audio here in Sacramento. Gonna pick up some Sundown Audio RCAs. I'm at a point in this build where I have to run the wires now or I can't start bedlining. So I guess we're gonna run over there and grab those. I just got back, picked up the RCAs. Now I can run these things and take it to the next step. Not very much glue in this bottle.
already got a solid platform for this box to sit on. Bed line to match. Now it's time to drop some speakers up in this bad boy. Then I can start looking up the amps and get this thing out of here. So we got a little bit of chest of tape only in the spot that's going to show. some wires 
Fasten the, yeah, fasten the box down. Take a listen. That's pretty much what it's looking like. That's the bed liner done. The box just needs to be attached to the platform, which is really easy. And I gotta run wires to these amps. So stay tuned for the next video. Wired up and fired up. This thing should be playing by then. But I know I got my work cut out for me as far as that amp rack is concerned. Should be fun though. I like running wires. Well, let the fun begin. Well, now that I got all that done, like I said, the fun part begins. But I actually like wiring up amp racks. I don't know about running wires to the amp rack, but once I get to the amp rack, I don't really mind it. So let's get started.
What you know about that? All right, we got all that stuff installed. Let's pop a fuse in and see if this thing even plays. Let's go see if it turns on. All right, Brando, you want to jump in over there and turn this thing on, see if it fires up, see if it even works? We got fuses, but do we have lights? That's the main question. Where's the keys at? I don't know, in here somewhere. Go ahead. Oh, we got lights. Yeah. Jump over and do the mids and highs amp. Can you see where the DD1 picks it up first? And then the incriminator? So we'll just go ahead and... Uh, This might be a little too powerful of an amp for this. We're gonna do four. There we go. Okay. We'll set the bass amp to about 80 hertz. Turn that up a couple notches. Turn it up? Yeah. Now hit the back button. Turn it up to like 30. 30? Yeah.
More. Brandito, that's just done, man. Should we give him a call or what? Give him a call. Let's give him a call. All right, mission complete. That thing definitely needs some sound ender on the roof. It's probably gonna need some on the doors and probably some, actually the back is flexing, but it's not making a lot of noise. But the roof is where all the noise is coming from. I know he wants his truck. I know he's got to get back to work with it. He's been carrying all his tools in his car while he's been waiting on it. So I'm going to send him home. He can bump some beats. I'm going to order him up some second skin and then we'll, uh, we'll throw some on the roof and see if we can make it sound any better. But hey, that thing gets down and it's definitely tuned to 30 Hertz. Stay tuned for the next episode as I drop it off to him. I just called him a little bit ago to come get it. He didn't answer his phone. So guess what? I'm gone. He can get it tomorrow. So today's the big day. Today's the day Rob gets his truck back. And uh, after thinking about it, after bumping it yesterday and hearing it rattle, I knew I had to do something. I really can't stop everything I'm doing and deaden that entire truck right this minute. I've had it way too long. He wants it back. But right now, I got a little remedy for the major parts that are rattling. We got a little bit of second skin over here and some damp rope. And I think this will help make it sound a lot better. Let's try it out. Now those side windows were flapping, making a lot of noise. They're loose and the little clamps that hold them down weren't tightening up very much. So I think a little bit of this, I got a little bit left. We'll slap it in there. See if we can't tighten this up just a little bit. I was totally able to slip some second skin damp pro underneath this backside and rub it in with my hand. It sticks so good that I don't really need a roller. You should use a roller, but I was able to stick it really good with my hand. So that was the major part right there, and it actually sounds a lot better. So we just got these windows right here. Pop this open. Put a little bit in here, just to create a little bit of tension. Yeah, it's super tight now. All right, Rob, I know you're gonna be here in like 20 minutes. I hope you love this shit. It sounds really good. It's banging pretty damn hard. Incriminator audio, DC audio, B2 audio, XS power, Mechman. Shit. A little bit of second skin, good to go. See you in a few minutes. that tweeter behind my ear or that one over there they're not hooked up i didn't feel like taking them out and leaving a big gaping hole those are a reminder never to put those there i'm gonna tell them those are your reminder don't ever do that again oh man i can't wait to show this to him <laughs> he's gonna love it she's getting it all right brandon you heard this thing vibrating yesterday you heard it flexing and rattling a little bit of second skin does it i mean did it make any difference not, to you night and day difference night and day huh night and day difference. just a little bit on that back top roof and some damp rope on these side windows Same. i mean can't fuck with it 
All right, check it out. My boy Rob just pulled up to come get his truck. I got Brandito over there wiping his wheels down because he don't want to let that thing leave with dirty rims. I just said, hey, my dog chewed up the hose. He chewed up the business end of it, so I can't even hook it up and, and use the other end. So I can't wash it for you, man. You're going to have to take it and wash it yourself. I, I'd rather wash it. Yeah, it's okay, but we're going to wipe your rims down so your rims are shiny on the way out of here. But I'm um, all right, man. I, hey, are you pretty much ready to see this thing? I know it's been like a month and a half, two months almost. Fucking dying, bro. And yeah, well, let's go, let's walk over here and take a look at what you did have, and then we're going to hop in and show you what you do have. Awesome. Are you ready? I'm ready? All right. All right, so let's go back to the, the first day. <laughs> we got the box of goodies here. This is what started it all. I soldered that on there. Like You're that. the one that did that? Yeah, look at that solder. Oh my God, dude. It's hanging on. Do not ever solder anything again in your life, please. You come see me. But we got a 40 amp fuse, remember? Hey man, I need a 40 amp fuse, man. My shit keeps blowing. Well, those days are over, man. So, if you guys saw video one, you saw what all this stuff is. We don't need to do it again. But um, I know he's dying to hear this thing, so let's get on over here. But first, we're gonna open up the hood and so you can see what it looks like under there. <laughs> oh, look underneath the hood first. Okay. <laughs> I'm all teasing it. Wow. There's your new shit right there. Wow. Damn. A lot better than what I could do, yep. I think. All your factory wires are all ran to my blocks and my little, uh, my distribution block and the fuse holder. So, you should be good to go. If this thing gives you any problems with your new alternate or with your alternator, we got a brand new mech man we'll grab for you. Matter of fact, I think I do have one on the way. You'll just have to bring it in and take about 15 minutes to put a new one in. Sweet. So right now it's not suffering too bad. Brandon, hop in there. He's not allowed to drive his own truck yet, so <laughs> back it on out. And turn the beat down too so he can't hear it. He ain't supposed to hear the beat yet. Go ahead, start it. We still gotta bolt this down. I got the I got the wrench for you. We'll screw that down before you take it. Brandito's got your rims all cleaned up. Just gonna have to do a little wipe down on the rest of it. Are you excited? I am, man. I don't. I can't even remember having it really. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's like a brand new. Uh... That's good. All right, man. Drop the seat down. Take a look at what it is first. Does it look like the same truck or what? No. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. That's awesome. I would move this one forward, but I don't have my channel locks on me. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to get a new seat. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe Actually, I'll... I know how to grab it with my hands now, but let me yeah, do that. Yeah. Those are your crossovers. Yeah, those right there are crossovers. Okay. What you've got is you've got a signal coming in off this amp mm -hmm. and going into that crossover, and then from there it gets split to the to the uh, mid base and the tweeter over in the kick panels. So one in, two out on each side, and then that right there is your power distribution block. So I got power coming off the alternator and the battery, going to that bar, and then from that bar it gets split up to the amps and the deck and everything is powered directly from that too. So you have no engine noise in here at all. It's super clean. Wow. So that's all Chinese to me anyway. Well, no, it's 100% American, man. I yeah. fucking made that shit there here. Yeah. All right, well, hop in, man. Let's listen to this motherfucker. Let's do this. You said this one? Uh, no, no, it's it's the this one. Uh, no, no, it's it's the one underneath the phone. There you go. Go to track. What was it? Track four, Brandon. Five. Go to track five. Can I, is it on five? Can I turn the volume up to about 30? About 30. Get his reaction, Brandon.
Oh, that one has some, that one's got the lows, huh? box is tuned low man holy shit now if you're bumping really hard you're gonna want to give it a little bit of gas get your alternator turning yeah someone yeah someone says something just give this bring the rpms up to about one fifteen hundred or two two thousand is always good I was wondering if that was that was what that was like for. shop and we'll connect your phone and stuff up your bluetooth okay. then you'll be on your way out of here Sweet. yeah all right man what do you think about the maiden voyage man i love it i haven't man. even took it for a ride yet man it, it's only been on the shop for like two minutes it sounds amazing man. <laughs> yeah. it's absolutely amazing All right, let's connect this phone up, man, real quick. Thank I don't really know how yet, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. 
ready? He's getting a call from the fucking pen <laughs> while we're bumping beat. Only the raw man, only the fucking Newman. <laughs> Hold on, man. Collect call from the jailhouse. I gotta go. Glad I hooked your phone up. All right, Rob, getting ready to get out of here. But we got to do one more thing. Hey, man, I can't let you leave without bumping the fucking King Morrison AP song. One of the lowest tracks we got on this disc. Hit the back button on that. There you go. Now turn that shit up to 30. Running like AP. Midnight sounds so good in here, man. Running like AP. All day, all day. Running like AP. All day, all day, all day. They hear me, can't see me, they hate me. These niggas is crazy. Juicy, no quincy, no wins. I do this. Who's interested in We don't want to stand to this. So I put a bunch of stuff on this thing right here. A whole bunch of lows on this USB for you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> dying to get the fuck out of here and i would be too so i ain't gonna hold you up no more but enjoy your system man thank you steve 35 years job. man <laughs> that's what happens job. when you when you know me for 35 years yeah brother you get hooked up proper so man i thank hope you man. enjoy the shit out of it and uh i, do. I will thank you very goddamn much goddamn right man right, i'm gonna let him get the fuck out of here and uh for everybody that watched the whole series appreciate you I'm out. You, yeah. Have fun, man. <laughs> there it goes. Think he's happy, Brandon? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Wonder who he's even more happier? Who? Me that that thing's out of the shop. Me too. Hey, it looks really nice leaving though. You know he's fucking stuck. You know he's stuck right now, dude. Uh, look what I just got. A little something from Beckman. And it might just be for my buddy Rob. All right, so this thing just showed up as I promised. We we're gonna put this alternator in Rob's truck. Just as I'm getting ready to open this thing up, look who shows up. What up? Hey man, do you wanna open this thing up yourself and take a look at it? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna go get the steak knife. You gotta use the steak knife to open this shit up. <laughs> there you go. It's traditional, man. This is how we open boxes here in the shop. There we go. We're about ready to put your new alternator in. You got to do the unboxing yourself since you 
showed up at the right time. Right. But overall, how's everything been? Great. Everywhere I go, everybody's like, that shit sounds awesome. <laughs> and then my rearview mirror just vibrated off and hit me in my knee. So you you already lost your rearview mirror? Yeah, it's gone. It's, 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 it's in there somewhere. And Rob's already got the rearview mirror blues. Hey, welcome to the club. When you lose your mirror, you know you're bumping. Yeah. Shit, look what else. Got a little crack in the windshield. Now don't get me wrong, I know this system really isn't loud enough to break the windshield, but this windshield wasn't broken when he left. So, and 10 minutes after he left here, he called and said his windshield's cracked. So maybe he just couldn't take it, I don't know. But cracked windshield, mirror's gone, good times. Well, let's go open up this alternator, see what we see got. What we're working with. Pop that open. We got the excess power battery. We got all the MechMan zero gauge wiring on this alternator. It looked like it might have, might have came from the wrecking yard at some point. It's got writing on it. So I'm not sure how many amps this stock one is. Probably under 100. Probably 65, 70. So he's telling me that his headlights ain't really even dimming right now. They used to dim, but they don't anymore. So that's a good sign that the wiring is right. But without a voltmeter in the car, we really don't know. So I say we slap an SMD VM1 in here, play a couple test tones, and see how bad it was suffering. Then we'll put the new alternator in and see if it's any better. Regardless, it's better because it never hurts to go up in average. Let's just bitch up though. Let's see what you got. Yeah. It's like Christmas, man. <laughs> Sharpen, sharpen your steak knife, bro. Oh, yeah, my steak knife rules, man. Ginsu. Uh, they make sharpeners now. There we go. You just ain't got the skills, the Ginsu uh, box opening skills. Oh. There we go. <laughs> just go turn that upside down and pop it out of there. So what do we got here? Tell you how many amps that thing is right on the orange tag. Made in the USA. Made in USA, McMahon. So we got 147. 147 at idle. 245 once you get up past 1800 RPM driving. So 147 at idle is really good. Okay. That means just sitting at the stoplight with your foot off the gas or anything. Good shit, man. making this thing on the fly, super fast. I even stopped the project that was on the table to do this, because I, I think I can do it pretty good. We're gonna find out though how it comes out. You don't even know what it is yet. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> it's gonna be cool, watch.
go see if this thing fits. That'd be cool if it does. All right, so let's see if this thing fits in here. <laughs> you are a genius. Hey, look at that. You like that, huh? Pop, pop you in a voltmeter and an OM1. Hell yeah. Be good to go. Love it. Oh, you man. Are the man. I'm jealous, dude. I'm jealous. Let's do it. I'm grateful, bro. Thanks. All right, Rob. We're going to go ahead and grab one of these and one of these. Oh, Oops. man. Oh, man. That's all right. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, these are awesome. VM1, the OM1. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Nice. So we're going to take these guts out and we're going to put them into that plastic piece. Mm. Awesome. Cool. Watch this. Yeah. Ready for this rock? I'm, I'm so ready. <laughs> what you know about that? I love it, bro. <laughs> I love that shit. Wait till we light it up. <laughs> Badass. That's like, gonna be awesome at nighttime, bro. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, man. it is. Oh yeah. There it is. Just like that, there it is. <laughs> All right. 
All right, Rob just got called into work. We're getting ready to put his alternator in. Of course, I had to stop what I was doing because I want to put a voltmeter and an output meter in here so we could do the alternator test. I want to be able to show you guys the before and after results. Not only the squeaking is going to stop, but he should have much stronger electrical. It's really not doing too bad the way it is, but never hurts to upgrade to that big fat 240 amp alternator. So Rob's got to get out of here. I'm going to do another video next Saturday when he has a little bit of time. He actually is supposed to be at work right now. So we're going to get him out of here. I'm going to show you what this voltmeter and this OM1 look like so I can finish this video up. Looks pretty good. And uh, we'll show you the results of that new Megman alternator as soon as it's in. So hold on. Oh, that's second. so nice, Rob. It does look good. <laughs> I mean, that looks awesome. It doesn't get much better than that, folks. Go turn your key, man. Check out what this shit looks like. Uh, there it is. There it is. Charging strong, too. 14.0. 14 awesome. Running like AP. Running like AP. Talk that all day. Running like AP. All day, all day, all day. Yeah. They hear me, can't see me, they hate me. These niggas is crazy. We talking juice and I'm pussy in the race. How do you get so you not know what they play? You don't need them pay. Who's interested in We don't understand. Check yourself. You can't tell what I'm saying. Can't help you help if you're busy complaining. More money at the finish line. Only trying to get it. Homies riding with the kids the city. All right, so Saturday we're going to put this thing in for sure. We'll do some before and after testing. And as you can see, look at the difference.
Turn it up! Guess what today is? Hey Rob, guess what today is? Today, today is alternator day. We're gonna put this bad boy in. Yeah. What a nice day it is outside right now. We got blue skies. We got no clouds. Perfect temperature. It's probably 72 out right now. Birds are chirping. I didn't see any birds. Oh, damn. We're gonna have to do something about that right now. Nothing special to see here. It's definitely gonna be the culprit on the noise though. Alright, so I'm not just gonna switch this alternator out and send him on his way. Of course the new alternator is gonna stop that squeaking problem. It's gonna stop those little birdie chirps. But what we want to do before we even switch it out is see what the voltage was and also we'll see what the SPL reading is before and after. Because stronger voltage equals more output. Let's check it out. Take a few SPL measurements. We're gonna watch that voltmeter. We're gonna document what it's doing. And then when we put the new alternator in, we'll document what it's doing again. Alright. Alright, so we got SPL lab. Got a little sensor up here on the dash. We got some test tunnels loaded up. And we're gonna watch this voltage. Back to 35 real quick. That's about a 140 in my book. Yeah. So 140 at 28 hertz. Let's take a little closer look at this voltage because that's going to matter more than anything. Add idle. All right, now give it gas, 2,000 RPM. Just hold it there. Just 2,000.
Running like AP. Running like AP. All day, all day. Running like AP. All day, all day, all day. Can't see me behaving. These niggas is crazy. We talking too soon. I'm gonna see no way. I need to do it. I know what they do. You don't need to pay. This is just a thing. We don't want to see you take yourself. You can't do what they say. Can't help you help if you barely complain. I'm on money. I'm finishing my way. I'm in. I'll give a little bit of gas. Homies riding with it, cause the city had a shit, it ain't trippin', we just tryna get it. Tryna make a meal, what you tryna get? In the lab all day, you just tryna hit. Miss Judge, I ain't fine for a cold fish. See the car full of bad, baby, go fish, go fish. All right, I seen enough. Let's put that thing in there, man. I know you're ready. I'm ready. Let's get it done. Yeah. Alternated day is always a good day. So we will be replacing that stock 100 amp unit with this new 240. It should solve the squeaking problems and give him a little bit more output. Now, his system really isn't suffering that bad right now. It's moving the voltmeter a little bit, but it's really not doing too bad. There's not a lot of power in here. You know, he's got a 1500 watts on the base. 140 dB at 28 Hertz with a 1500 watt amp. Ain't bad at all. What this will do is it should give him a little bit more juice and make it a little bit louder, but this will also future-proof this truck for him. He'll be able to add more amps or more whatever he wants later on more of them goddamn lights. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You'll be able to add a light and everything else, and this will be good for that. So, I'm not gonna let this film drag on. I'm going straight into time lapse and knock this thing out. It shouldn't take very long at all. So, here we go. Yeah, yeah, run it like AP. Yeah, yeah, run it like AP. Yeah, all day, all day. Run it like AP. Like a may P. See the gang, you have HD. Many lanes hate me. Alright, so that thing's out of here. One of the easiest things that you can do to switch an alternator out is one of these charts. I don't know about every car, but I know about other cars, and it's not easy like this truck is. So this one's real nice. So if you got a GM truck, take advantage of it and get yourself a new alternator. With the crown, with the snake speed. In the jungle with the lions and the apes and the snakes be Won't let these jacks ace me Yeah, running like AP Yeah, 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 running like AP Yeah, yeah, running like AP New belts fit, fitting real nice and tight. Real nice, super nice. This thing's gorgeous. Put this zero gauge wire back on here. All right, Rob, fire it up. Give some gas. It's at 14. What's at 13, 7? 4. Just turn some music on and see if we can't get that to move a little bit. Hey, is this your very first time at the Old Pit you ever had in your life? Yeah, that's 
fucking nice. Badass. Everybody needs their first. Good in there, man. Best man 240. Good job, man. Indeed. <laughs> Alright, the first thing I want to do is see if you gained any VB with the new alternator. May or may not. You're still at 1500 watts, so it's not going to be too drastic, I don't think. just to confirm it, but uh, this time do it at idle. Let, just let, let it idle. Okay. okay, so we're gonna clear that 141 out. All right, um, hold on a second here. All right, go ahead, let it rip. Okay. 140.66 with their alternator idling. So that's actually really good, man. 1,500 watts. Let's take a look at the voltage now and see how it's doing. All right, so foot off the gas, idling. Okay. Now give it some gas. Hold it down to about 2,000 RPM. See how strong that was? Yeah. That thing good. was down in the yellow earlier. Yeah, it was good. All right. That's badass. Fuck yeah. Right, let's play some music real quick and see how it does, and then we're going to get you the fuck out of here, man. You're going to be done. All right. Lorenzo Dunzo. Bring the light, AP. 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 They hear me, can't see me, they hate me. These niggas is crazy. I'm talking to shit, I'm crazy, no way. I need to tell you, I know what they play. You don't need to have to do such a thing. We don't want to stand, check yourself. You can't do what I'm saying. Yeah. Can't help you. Yeah. Help. If you're yeah. busy complaining, I'm gonna give you a gun. Oh man, I'm trying to get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just riding with it, cause it's pretty hot as shit. I had trippin' when she's tryna live. Tryna make a meal, what you tryna get? In the lab all day, I'm just tryna hit. Miss Judge, I ain't five for a cold six. See the cars throw a bag, you be cold fish. Go fish. While the verge is in, your electrical system is rock ass solid. It's doing great. The mech man for the win. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off and paint that thing. Top? That's what I'm gonna you got the alternator, you got the battery, you got all the wiring, you're good to go, man. There's nothing in the system that was left untouched. That was great, bro. You are out of here, man. Now you shut your head, turn your beat on, and ride right on out. Yeah. This is video number, what, 11? Video number 12? Thank you guys for watching. This series is officially over. Pretty much done all I could do in that truck. But I did tell him, man, if he goes six months, a year, and everything's still working great, we're gonna upgrade his 12 inch subs to some DC audio level threes or something like that. He's got plenty more power left in that amplifier to adjust it a little bit and get some more output. But for right now, this thing's slamming, sounds super good, goes super deep, and I, overall, I'm really happy with the entire process. You're good to go, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> No more birdies under the head. I was looking at everybody else. It's up in the industry. They ain't as sick as me. I had a minimal taste for all the fame stuff. But I got into the game without a sense of my name. And now I'm falling like I'm in a piece. And you do it sober. Then you find a drink. Then you spiral down. And it all repeats. And I'm a gimmick. I finally get it. I'm here to make music that matters. If I die, it'll all be all right. Because the message I gave you will live for me after. In my chapter, will highlight a lifetime. The village he gave. Before you go, can you play that slow down Garth Brooks shit? Oh, hell. I want to film that, man. And then you're free to go. All right. <laughs> a little bit of dirt from the seat resting on it, but that ain't no big deal. That wipes right off. A little wet towel. 
B2 audio, incriminator audio, some new door panels, some cover lay. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Rob's clothes are here. Yeah. DC Audio Level 312 for Rob's truck. This is going to be a good unboxing right here. Now, I promised Rob if he took good care of his system for six months to a year, I would upgrade his level ones up to level threes. Because nothing sucks more than hooking somebody up proper and then the next month all their shit's stolen or gone and they just don't care. But Rob took good care of his system, so I'm going to upgrade him. But since I had to pay for these things, I'm gonna do an unboxing video and put it on my channel. So, here we go. Oh yeah, trusty steak knife. Can't wait to see what these level threes look like compared to those level ones. Look at this. Oh, we got stickers. Love stickers. Look at this. Say it's time to get all four of them out of their boxes. Brando, we got three DC stickers for the shrine.
All right, the box didn't really come with any literature, but going to the DC Audio website, I see this is a 900 watt RMS woofer. So they will be slightly underpowered. That's okay. So I'd love to hook this thing up and flex the crap out of it right now, but my test bench isn't ready. It's not hooked up. It doesn't look the way I want it to look. That's gonna be next. I'm definitely getting that done soon. There's no problems, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But, Rob, if you're out there, somewhere out there in YouTube land, hit me up. We need to put these things in. I got you. Well, today's the day. We're gonna switch out these 12s just like I promised. We're gonna put them in Rob's truck. We're gonna turn the gain up a little bit since I had it backed way down for those level ones. We're gonna see if it's any good. All right, it's Friday morning. Rob just pulled up. We're gonna take those old ones out, put the new ones in, figure out how to give them away to some people, first of all. But uh, real quick, man, Rob, come on over here, man. Yeah. What's up, man? It's my boy Rob right here. Hey, man, you took care of your shit? You didn't get your shit stolen? Nope. You didn't let anybody test the dials? No. You didn't fucking abuse it in any way. You just enjoyed it. And guess what? You got yourself an upgrade coming up. Ooh, we got some level threes. We're gonna take those level ones out. Turn the gain up just a little bit. Normally the gain ain't a volume knob. Remember that. But I had this gain turned down for those level ones. So we crack it back up just a little, get a little bit more power. And uh, Woofer should be on cruise control mode. They should be able to handle it no problem. So let's bring that thing in here, man, and let's, let's get to work. Do it. All right. It's a little dusty, but you know what, man? It's my work truck. I built this thing for you to ride and for you to work with. Work this with is not a show truck. This is a work truck with feet, so yeah. it's all still there. It all looks good. Just a little dusty, a little dirty. No big deal. Shit, the wiring is clean still. I don't think it's been open since the last time it was Good. Got that Mechman alternator. Could use a little dusting. We'll wipe it off before you head out of here, but... Yeah, you're looking good, man. I just had air conditioning fixed. That's the only thing I've done. All right, Rob, come check out your whippers, man. I got them sitting right over here. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. A lot more chunky. Go ahead and pick it up, man. It's yours. You own those, man. I don't even own them anymore since you walked in the door today. Yeah. <laughs> a lot easier, man. Wait till we put them next to the other ones when we take them out. Let's see that magnet. Oh. There you go. Oh. Kind of heavy now. Ah, oh, it's killing it. <laughs> How much are those weigh? Everything still looks good, Rob. Thank you, sir. I take good care of it. Looks just like it did when it left. I love that. I love it. All right, now the fun part. Take all these ones out, put those ones in, set the game, send him on his way. Just like that.
perfect condition, all four of them. So I love to see. Shit, that's a level one? Are you serious right now? We're gonna design these and give them away. Let's see what these level threes look like right next to them. Oh wow, look at that. Well, the difference is really apparent between the two. You got a much more robust surround, bigger triple stack magnet, 12 smoke basket. This is a nice one for this level one is nice. But this level three, man, what a difference. bad hook for though but you can see the difference. This thing's gonna throw a lot harder. Yeah that looks a lot more chunky. Yeah that looks like it's built for more more power. It is. Wow. These sound great but I can only imagine what those are sound like. Especially once they get broken in they're really tight right now. Oh they'll get broken in after you know, I know they will. <laughs> Alright man. Let's wire these things up and put them in. Yeah, turn that shit up. that thing up to about 45 Hertz that was 28 let's go up into something a little higher like 45 
46. Let's go. Raise it up a little higher, see what else we got in this thing. We're we talking about here 48 hertz. Turn the amp up just a little bit. Threw a little bass knob in here for him. He didn't have one before. So we can have a little bit of control over that extra low end. I think he's ready to hop in here and bump it and play it and enjoy it. Let's get him over here. Let's see. Hey, Rob. All right, Rob. You've officially been leveled up, man. Level three DC audio. Turn him up a little bit. Got you some decent gains. Thank you, man. Break them in a little bit, man. You're gonna like them a lot more. Let's bring it out there and listen to it real quick. Man, the mids and highs sound so damn crisp and clean in here, man. I love it. Bump that shit. With this pain, killers I home want my soul to be staying to obtain my will. I could Turn it up yet, it's gonna put your sticker on. Can you see where the dead center middle is? thing to do man we're gonna give them whoopers away I need you to sign them for me oh, yeah. you down let's do that man. <laughs> you ever had to autograph anything before uh, the numinator well, we'll, we'll give an autograph right now all right all right so like I promised we're gonna sign these things and give them away I don't know how I'm giving them away yet you're gonna have to like subscribe to this channel set your notifications it's gonna be real soon but uh, for right now we're gonna get these things signed I would write my name on the dust cap and so would he, but you know, I would rather do it on the magnet because in case you don't want to look at the signatures all day long, you don't have to. So look at this. We'll just do this like this. Kind of hard to write on the chrome, but here you go. Sign that up. I'm going to hold it off this round. Just, just scribble your name. There you go. Hey, yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> look at that. Bam. We got three more to go. Right on, right on. Good shit, good shit. Rob, I said you can level up. Enjoy your shit. Thank you, brother. Have fun. I love you, man. Thank you. We're out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, cool. Thank <laughs> you.